Welcome back to Klonoa. Wait a minute, this doesn't look like the PS1 game. What the fuck's going on here? It's Klonoa for the Wii. I need to go to the options menu first to check something. Oh, yes. We want it in English because the voice acting in this game is graphic subpar. What's the graphic filter? It makes it, it like blurs. Turn it off. Turn that shit off. Uh, go to the sound settings. Does it have a surround Yes, option? it does. Awesome. Now, nah, let's not save those settings. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck those settings, yo. This is a 100% save file I downloaded from the internet. As such, I don't know what the fuck those medals mean. I'm pretty sure they're for clearing the game in reverse mode. What's reverse mode? Oh, we'll see. See, uh, there are new things that uh, this version added. Okay. First of all, let's... Reverse mode just puts the game in mirror mode. Oh, okay. So you go from uh, right to left instead of left to right. That sounds difficult. Final? Did you do Final Vision reverse mode? Uh, that's really. There's no stuff for the Final Vision. Oh, you can't do Final Vision in reverse. Let's go, let's go. Oh God, Klonoa sounds terrible in this version. Time attack. Time attack. You know, basically, it gives you time attacks against all the bosses. Who will you fight today? Rongo Lango, Evil Seedoff, Gelgbolm, Belladium, Joker. Joker. Ugh, I fucking hate that change in this version. There's no reason for it. It's the Joker. Now has whom? Hmm, I suppose you need to rest sometimes too. It's literally just an easier way to refight the bosses if you want. It's just boss challenge mode. Although Nahatum has no reason to be there since the final vision is just a fight with him. Yeah. A movie viewer. Yeah, you can watch the cutscenes. We can show off how really how like really bad the English the uh, English voice acting is. That's a lot of stuff. What is this? Is this for beating... No, this is the cutscene viewer. This is after we beat Belladium. Oh no. Considering they fucking nuked the house, I'm not surprised. Yeah, go ahead and die, old man. I don't care anymore. Yeah, it's not Granny in this game. It's the Chief of Forlock Forest. Ah. Uh, it's bullshit. <laughs> I can't stop smoking this pipe while I die. <laughs> it's amazing how... It's amazing how literate I am with this pipe sticking out of my mouth. Legible, I mean, or whatever the word is for vocally understanding. Grandpa! Grandpa! This looks really good. This is a very good looking remake. It is your destiny. Well, at least he finished his sentence before uh, before he died, unlike Link's uncle in Link to the Past. Yeah, I mean, so Zelda is your... Yeah. But she's my wife. She's my wife. It's one of my favorite Ego Raptor cartoons. <laughs> Zelda is my wife. Or put my dick in that. No. <laughs> oh, by the way, Laura Bailey voices Hupo in this version. Oh, that's cool. I like Laura Bailey. Huh? Yeah, Hupo is less detailed in this version for some reason. He doesn't have the halo underneath him, nor does he have his hands. Hmm. I didn't know she could fly. She's a magic fish. Of course she can fly. How the fuck do they know? What? 
Okay. This looks pretty cool. Now, we're Does Klonoa 2 look like this? No, uh, Klonoa 2 is cell shaded. Ah. It's in, it's uh, all 3D graphics, but it's cell shaded. Man, he got over Grandpa's death quick. Yeah. Wait, Grandpa died, but that doesn't matter now. Okay. Right. You, come again. you may notice Klonoa has a new design for this game. Yeah, I guess so. Come on, let's go. The character viewer is probably the best feature in this game to me, because you can see what all the enemy names are. Oh. Uh. This is also where I'll show off the alternate costumes. Alternate costumes. Choose the data you'd like to see. Here we have Klonoa's new design. Okay. Zipper shirt is how he looks in Klonoa 2, which ah. would become his default design for the rest of the series. Cool. Summer wear is a new costume just for this game. Interesting. And the red collar is his original costume from the PS1 game. Ah. Which doesn't quite look as good when he's this tall. Pac-Man. Paco Paco. Let's check out Bomberman in this game. Okay. Moo. Uh, it's a moo. Flying moo. Teton, Zippo, Boyne. Giant Moo, Shield Moo, Mew Mew, Spear Moo, Summy, Shelly, Monkey Moo. Monkey Moo. Giant Shield Moo, Moo Ball, Mace Ball, Dabby, Fifi. Hmm. The enemies in this game have some weird fucking names. Armored Moo, Giant Armored Moo. Hoppin' Moo, Air Dabby, Blue, Blue Moo. Moo. Giant Blue Moo. Boomy. Tipa. Tipo. Glibs. Pla yeah, those are these little ghost fuckers are called. They're called Plowm. Plowm. The Dragon Ball motherfuckers are called Bernie. Bernie. Because they throw fire at you. Pilot Moo. That's not even an enemy in the game. It only appears in a cutscene. Oh, weird. Fifi. Pink. Al Gore. <laughs> That's a weird look for Al Gore. I haven't seen that guy lately. <laughs> He's uh, looking quite a bit different. The Eclipse. fucking nightmare moves. Mm -hmm. Smork. Okay. The, the boomerang fuckers. Armored death move. Death move. The ones that you fight with uh, Gadius and uh, Nahatsum. Beast Joka. Wow. Gadius. Look at the texturing on these characters. is really good. It looks fucking nightmarish in this game. That's or in this version. kind of the point. Well, yeah, because he's the uh, ultimate nightmare. Hello. You can't turn him around. Yeah. Because he's only a face. All done. Well, nah. I'll see you later, then. We're well, not done. But we'll give up anyway. I'll see you later, then. The music player is the exact same as it is in the PlayStation version. You pick a music, and all the little sprites of the little dudes start to play their play their instruments. It's got the exact same music too. Oh, I'm gonna show off the costumes menu anyway, just because there's something weird about it. Huh? I'm gonna show off the costumes menu anyway, just because there's something weird about it. Okay, the house got fucking nuked, but the cost the these clothes are still intact. Hmm. That's dumb. Yeah, apparently you have to save to keep your costume. Sir, how much are these hot tubs for babies? Sir, those are crock pots. Those are crock pots. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, the curse is broken. Do we get to be human again? Oh boy, is that my brain? <laughs> Chip becomes a human and has a chunk missing out of his head. <laughs> I 
I might as well show off the cutscene for reverse mode. Come on, let's go. Here's all this does. Mirror fairies. And now Siri? we're backwards. Siri, why am I still single? Siri opens front camera. <laughs> Okay, uh, you get a little dial thing to show you that our reverse mode is activated. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Hmm. And I'll just play through the first stage, show off reverse mode real quick. Like I said, it's nothing special. This version of the game is definitely more cinematic than the original. Just look at this. Wow. Is this mirror mode? Yeah, this is mirror mode. Reverse mode. Have you beaten the entire game like this? No. I personally never played reverse mode. Ah. Because it was just the game again, but backwards. It's the same reason I don't really like mirror mode in Mario Kart. It's like, it's it's padding the game. Mirror mode in Mario... All mirror mode in Mario Kart is, is 150cc with the stages backwards. With the stages backwards and the AI even more dickish. Oh, the clocks are different in this version of the game. They're, they're like they are in Kaloa 2. Mm. Is Kaloa 2 like this? Um, or is it fully 3D? It's it's still a 2.5D side-scroller. Ah. Uh, I go back and forth between not being able to stand Kaloa's English voice and uh, thinking it's fine for what it is. Yeah. This looks really cool. This is a very good looking game. 15 movies that you didn't know have post credit sequences. Yo, up here. I'm up here. Is that blue? Yeah, that's blue. Is this the secret stage area? Yeah, when he finishes it, yeah. This is a massive flaw in this game. Well, to the presentation to me, and it's why I think the original game is stronger. Klono uh, Hupo serves as a mouthpiece for Klonoa most of the time. Klonoa doesn't only talks when he needs to to advance the plot. Otherwise, it's Hupo doing the talking for him. You know that uh, Big Hero 6 has a post credit sequence? Yes, I do. Fred's father was actually a superhero played by Stan Lee. Yep. Anyways, we've seen that cutscene before. Just mm -hmm. not with English voice acting. There is the option of the Phantom Island language in this game, but... I don't feel it's as strong as it is in Klonoa, in the original game in Klonoa 2. I don't know, there's just something lazy about the performance. I mean, Klonoa's voice, voice actress is on point as always, but... As opposed to, like, Hupo having Pokemon speak, where he just says Hupo over and over again. There's, uh... He's, like, does this, like, bee 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 boo bo 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 shit. Yeah. And that's all he says. Oh, Klonoa also has a new ability in this in this version of the game. Zombie Land has a post credit sequence. Let's see. Can I can I do it? Okay, there we go. Uh, the Whirlwind. It slows down enemies. It's useful for the spikers, but other than that, it's not really worth shit. Plus, the game doesn't. I don't think the game even tells you you have it. Masters of the Universe has a post credit sequence. Really? Where Skeletor tells people he'll be back. 
That never happened. That never happened. For the good. Uh, I'll get my fucking wires crossed here because I'm not used to reverse mode. Yeah. Jingle all the way has a post credit scene. Yeah, I knew that. Vision 1-1 one, one cleared. In reverse mode. Okay. Anywho, that's uh, that's it for Klonoa. Yep. Next time we'll be playing something else. Probably something terrible. Maybe.